Today we'll be discussing a new way to make gold in pre-patch without relics, but still use old materials. Before we get into that, if this type of video is not for you, make sure to check out my last video covering Relic of the Past nerf. Okay, so the first thing you want to take away from this is simple. This will be a sit down and craft after you either farm for material or buy from the auction house. So time will vary for each one of you based on how much you farm or buy. Also note the PTR build is what we are getting, but I would like to warn you that there is a chance that this might change days before. If that does, then you know that Blizzard is watching my channel. The crafting items we are after are cinder cloth boots and white bandit mask. As you can see here, cinder cloth boots are 28 gold on PTR and white bandit mask is 9 gold on PTR. Let's take the lower one first, assuming you're buying instead of farming the material. We will go with my realm price at 92 silver each for the mage weave cloth. White bandit mask takes one bolt of mage weave cloth at 3.68 gold, one heavy silken thread at 16 silver, one bleach at 20 copper at 9 gold when made. That is a 5.16 gold profit. Not bad to be honest and you can make a lot with less materials. Now the thread and bleach are sold by the vendors so no need to farm those just farm the mage weave cloth making it easy to get this crafted and shuffle it. Now let's move on to cinder cloth which takes five bolt of mage with cloth at 18.4 gold, 3 heavy silken thread at 48 silver, with a total material cost at 18.88 gold, and a total profit of 9.12, almost double the white bandit, but more cloth used when you're making these. Mage weave is very easy to get though, and I will be covering farms in the future. With relics being dead on arrival, there is still hope according to beta, but in the meantime, new shuffles and farms are arriving every day. These two are just two of many I will be showcasing in the near future. The difference between these shuffles and the ones that we're used to like the Bracer or the Legion ones is time. As I stated at the start, this will be more of a farm said material and sit while you make. The big question is, is this for you? That is for you to decide. I will have another video coming out very soon showcasing new raw gold farms for pre-patch. I want to leave you with this. We may have got a nerf, but raw gold is not dead. Thank you to all my Patreons for going that extra mile, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and liking. It helps a lot more than you think, and as always, stay stashy.